trying to stream again. All right. I hope I'm back. Um, I switch servers. It's unfortunate that I have to keep doing that. But, um, yeah, hopefully that'll be the last time tonight that that needs to happen. So let's um, start at Maniac Mansion, and I'll keep an eye on the frame rate. Um, and, yeah, if, if you, you all in chat, if you could just let me know um, if I start dropping again. More than happy to restart the stream or switch servers or something like that. Yeah, if you if you send messages messages too quickly, Twitch nixes your messages. I think because um, some people have the tendency to spam chats. Yes, I did die. Unfortunately, that happened. Um, I died in a really lame way. I basically just ran into a, a spider um, that was sitting on the ceiling of a of the cave. I meant to hit it with my wit, but I didn't quite hit X soon enough. So that's what happens to me when I do stupid things. But that's all right, because we get to play Maniac Mansion, which, unlike Spelunky, lets you restore your game if you die. Um, and... Yeah, I'm just going to make this actually fill the screen. And... Here we go. So I'm going to do the same the same arrangement of folks I did last time, which is going to be um, Wendy, Dave, and Razor. So let's get started on that. And this is an all new an all new attempt. So here comes the meteor. Gotta give credit where credit, credit's due, Ron Gilbert and Gary Someone. Scripted by Ron Gilbert and David Fox. Programmed two programmers, Eric Will Munder and Ron Gilbert. So, round of applause for those two programmers. And these two guys did the IBM sounds. Okay, this looks like the old mansion. Sure, I saw Dr. Fred take Sandy here. It's up to us to get her out. This could be real dangerous. If anyone wants to back out. I heard Dr. Fred was kind of cute. Uh, okay, let's go rescue Sandy. Alright, so we're going to play as Wendy. Like we did last time. No, what wizard? This game is not Spelunky, I'm sorry to say. But I did not last long in Spelunky tonight. Okay, so a couple things that I learned um, from my playthrough last night. Well, first of all, one thing I learned is that the door is locked at the beginning. So I need to pull the doormat aside so that I can pick up this key. And the other thing I learned from yesterday is um, that there's a package that comes later on. So I'm going to switch. Uh, no, what was it? I did not beat your score. Um, like last time, I got a level farther than you, but you still got more money than I did. Okay, so um, because a package is going to come later, and we do want it, we do at least want the stamps, that come off of it. I'm going to put Dave here by the mailbox. And I'm going to switch back to Wendy. Um, and I don't want to go into that kitchen just yet because uh, Nurse Edna is in there right now. So I'm going to go in here because one of the puzzles I did manage to solve that last night, I think, no, wait a minute. Um... I think I actually need to go upstairs. I'm looking right now for this cassette tape that I use to um, that I use to record uh, the Green Tentacles record, so that I could. Well, my dear, hope you're having fun. Within minutes, it'll all be over. 
You'll be hooked up to my machine getting your pretty brain sucked out. You'll never get away with this. Dave and his friends will rescue me. You and your meteor can, can eat slime. That's what she thinks. <laughs> help! 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 Don't worry, I'll come save you. Okay, so opening the stores. Don't remember where everything was, but, you know, you might as well. I know that I do need to give Green Tentacle this, um, this bowl of wax fruit and, um, you know, this paint remover is here, so I might as well take it. Um, the, okay, so I think what's going on is that the doctor, um, whatever his name is, I can't remember his name, but the crazy doctor dude, uh, is kind of working for this, this, like, alien, uh, working for this alien life form that came down inside a meteor. It's basically controlling his mind or something. I don't really understand it all that well. Um, okay, so what am I doing? What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, yeah, I do, I want to get a cassette tape so that I can record a record which is in the room of um, the Green Tentacle. But to get to the room of the Green Tentacle, I need to give him, I need to give the Green Tentacle a bowl of wax fruit and a, um, shoot, what's the other thing? Uh, some, some juice bottles. Some fruit juice bottles. So I think that door on the left there is the arcade, and I think this door, oh no, this door is the arcade. What's this one? I need to reorient myself to the house. This door is dark, but if I turn on a light, which I can do by moving my cursor around until I find one, which is kind of annoying, but whatever. Um, oh, here we go, desk lamp, right here. I always put my finger where I remember it being, because um, in this game, hovering over things with your cursor does not... Oh, shoot. I want to turn on Blackboard. I want to turn on the desk lamp. Um, hovering your cursor over things while you're using any verb other than what is does not actually tell you the thing that you have your cursor over. So in order to find things that you can interact with, you have to use the what is verb and move your cursor around so that you can actually find items that you can interact with. And once you do that, you can then interact with them, which normally isn't a huge deal. But when you go into those dark rooms and you're just looking for a light, it can be kind of annoying. OK, so Green Tentacle, you are hungry. And for some reason, you want to eat this bowl of wax fruit. So I'll give it to you. Wow, my favorite. That's what I wanted. Now I'm thirsty. All right, so hopefully at this point, Nurse Edna has left the kitchen. Um, if she's still up there, I, I should probably save my game before I go in there, just in case. But um, if she's still in there, I should be able to just get away. Okay, so I guess pressing, I can switch between kids by pressing F F2. That's kind of cool. Okay, so, but if I press F5, I can save my game. And I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna save over my old saves, because I don't really care about them anymore. Um, and then I'm gonna try out the kitchen. And if Nurse Edna's in here, she might get me. But if she does, I'll just restore my game. Uh, while I'm in here, I might as well get this flashlight, which I think will come in handy. And, yep, there she is, there she is, get out the door. Okay, does she keep chasing me? No, she doesn't, good. All right, um, what can I do in the meantime? I'm trying to remember. There's not a lot. There's not a lot you can do before that area, that other area opens up. Because I need to get past Green Tentacle to get, um to get the blank cassette tape. 
then I can use group and then and then also um, okay I'm gonna turn this lamp on here that's a walk to lamp I want to turn on turn on lamp okay here we go oh okay actually um, I misspoke this is I believe where I get the um, the cassette tape so there's a loose panel here somewhere here it is and it has a blank cassette tape inside of it, so I can pick that up. And now I have this blank cassette tape, which I can use to record the Green Tentacles really weird record that I can then play in this room. And what? Okay, so once I and once I put the sounds of that weird record onto the blank cassette tape, I can play it in this room, and it will cause the chandelier to fall, and I will get a rusty key that I can then use to get into the dungeon downstairs. Um, but yeah, let's check on Nurse Edna again. After saving the game. Still here, Nurse? Still here, Nurse Edna? Nope. She's gone. Okay, good. So I can now... Um, well, first of all, I'm going to open the fridge, and this time I'm going to try to maybe not fill my inventory up with quite as much crap, but I do think I do need a can of Pepsi. Um, I know that I, I, I learned um, since last time that there are a lot of red herrings in this game, so there are a lot of things that you can pick up that just are absolutely useless for beating the game. Um... And the annoying thing about that is that your range of view inside your inventory is not very large. So if I want to look through my inventory and see things that I can use, just having a lot of junk in there can kind of screw up. Screw that up. Um, so I'm, I'm trying to focus more on important items this time around. So I'm going to pick up uh, the juice bottles, which is, which is going to help me with, um, with Green Tentacle. And I also want to pick up this glass jar, because if I know anything about video games, um, empty jars are always a precious commodity. Gee, I'm hungry! Um, okay, so he's going to go down to the kitchen, and I'm hoping he doesn't catch me. So, saving my game... Um, he probably will, but might as well just see if I can beat him. All right, so maybe if I go and hide in here for a bit, um, eventually I think it'll show him down at the refrigerator, or maybe not. Tumty tum de dum. Oh boy, cheese for my hamster and me. All right, so time to go up the stairs. And I'm ready to give uh, ready to give give Green Tentacle his fruit juice. So that he'll let me buy. Okay. So I'm going to give uh, fruit drinks to Green Tentacle. Thanks. All right. Up the stairs. What Wizard says, I think he means my hamster and I. Um, they never said that he had the best grammar. Okay, so... Okay, there's a dime on the ground. Maybe I'll want that later. And I'm going to go up here, because this is where Green Tentacle lives. And he has two items that I think are going to be... That I think will be useful. One is this record here. I'm so depressed! I'm never going to get my band started. My life is going nowhere. 
I'm never going to amount to anything. Eating all that food didn't even help. Well, it, you, you did eat a bowl of wax fruit, you realize. Like, I don't think that would help anyone. Wax fruit does seem rather hard to digest to me. Just, just throwing that out there. Uh, but you don't mind, hey, you don't mind Green Tentacle if I take your key here, do you? And uh, this record, this, this record, the record I just took, that's okay too, right? All right, good. Uh, in that case, I'm going to go back downstairs. I hope you work out your problems. Goodbye. Oh, also, thanks for being totally cool with just, like, random strangers coming into your house and, and messing shit up. That's, that's very generous of you. Okay, so now I have... Um, I have a cassette tape, blank cassette tape, and I have a record. So now we go downstairs, and that's the arcade room. If I don't, if I'm remembering correctly, and this is what? Okay, this is. Oh wait, 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 wait. There is something in here that I think I might need. So this is just a hunch based on the fact that um, Wendy is a writer. But I have a feeling that she's going to be interested in this manuscript here. So if I try to read the manuscript, she says... It looks like someone's memoir, but the writing is terrible. Okay, so I'm guessing that it's written by a meteor? How strange. Okay, so it's, it's the meteor's memoir, um, and it's a bad memoir. So maybe... That might, that might come in handy later, considering her skill set in this game. Is writing. Her superpower is writing. Okay, here I am in the music recording room. So, here goes nothing. Um, I'm going to put this cassette tape into the uh, cassette recorder. And I'm going to turn on the cassette recorder. And I'm going to turn on... Oh, first I'm going to use this record on the Victrola. And I'm going to turn on the Victrola. And it was that earth-shattering pitch that broke that vase there. That's also going to break um, something else downstairs. So I will now turn off the cassette recorder and pick up this tape. And I also want to turn on the TV here because um, I remember yesterday I wasn't playing as Wendy, I was playing as, as Razor. But um, one thing that she saw was these uh, this ad for these three guys who will publish anything. Hi, all you budding writers, musicians, and game designers. I'm Mark Eater, and my company will publish anything. Just mail it to the address shown below. Don't forget the stamp. Okay. So, um, I'm I'm just kind of using my. Uh, using using just my my general sense of things, and because this character is a writer, because I have a crappy manuscript, and I have an address for people who will publish anything, I'm assuming that at some point I need to mail the manuscript to them and get this thing published for the meteor. Um, I don't know when or how that would come in handy, but it just seems like something considering that all the materials to do that are, are available. Um, it seems like something they would do. So I will use this cassette tape in the cassette player, and I'm going to turn it on now. So here goes nothing. Okay, now I have the rusty key, which um, I'm still not entirely sure what the use for that is, but I have a guess. 
Um, my guess is that it maybe opens the door to the dungeon. So if I get captured, I can now get out of the dungeon. Um, there's one area... Uh, well, there, there are a few areas in the house that I know exist that I haven't been able to get to. 